Hi, welcome back. My name is Kaylin Kennedy and this is Making Sawdust. Got a quick project for you this week. I need to make some new push shoes. These are great for pushing small pieces of wood across a table saw. And when the fence and the blade are less than two inches apart, I think it's just about essential. Only problem is, after a lot of wear and tear, the bottoms get cut up so much that they're not really usable anymore. I've been using these for nearly two years, I think, so I got my use out of them, and it's time to make some new ones. I've traced the template out that I got from Izzy Swan a couple times on this piece of scrap plywood, and the first step is to cut it out on the bandsaw. concerned about following the line of the pattern exactly, but one place I do care about is the bottom, the part that's going to rest on the wood as I push it across the table saw. So to keep that as flat as possible, I'm going to start that cut on the table saw, finish it up on the band saw. I'm cutting about a quarter inch of material off, and when you measure that, make sure to measure from the fence to the outside of the blade rather than the inside. Otherwise, you'll cut off probably an extra eighth of an inch of wood. Almost there. Only thing left to do is give it a little bit of hand sanding and then round over these edges on the router table. pretty much wraps them up. A little more hand sanding and they are ready to use. Not the prettiest things in the world, but they are incredibly functional. When I get back to making the air hockey table, these will come in real handy for ripping down all those eighth inch pieces of wood that I'm going to use to trim it out. If you enjoyed this video, please like and comment down below. If you want to see more, subscribe. Until next time, I'm Kalen Kennedy. Have a great weekend and get out there and make some sawdust.